busy over the holidays. So uh, we're headed up to the mountain right now and uh, traffic's pretty light and uh, hopefully it'll be a good trip. Well, I've actually never gotten here before. This is the first. This is the top of Sawmill Mountain. So uh, it looks like course uh, 260 got me here. Um, I just stayed the course and uh, followed uh, the saddleback and uh, was able to make it here to Sawmill. Terrain was pretty tough and uh, I gotta tell you I'm pretty beat. Stop in 8 uh, Whoa, those are my uh, snowshoes. But uh, the snow is pretty deep so uh, what happens is you get out there and you fall down waist deep in snow and then you have to dig yourself out which is uh what i would call no good because uh, it takes a lot of energy and without your gloves on um it's uh kind of cold on the hands um i am going to take a sight bearing here and try to figure out my exact position and where sheep camp is and hopefully uh i'll make it to sheep camp um within an hour or so but uh uh, good location right now. I'm gonna go ahead and send an okay to my friends and family with my uh, Tracking device And hopefully they will get that and uh, see that I'm on top of Sawmill Mountain At least I made it that far and uh, we'll go from there, but take a look at that view Yeah, the Sierras baby You can see those and see the fog in the San Joaquin Valley, it looks like a cloud. Uh, it looks like a cloud, it's not a cloud, but uh, just fog. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's called 360 coolness. I wanted to show you what your friends and family see when you uh, send that signal, and they can go to Google Earth and see exactly where you're located. So, guess what that means? That means I'm headed to sheep camp. So far, so good. Um, hasn't been easy. Three hours and 43 minutes. Wow. And a hell of a lot of calories burned. So, uh, I'm gonna head into sheep camp. Sheep camp. Yeah, I'm here. Oh yeah, I made it. Yeah, navigation, no problem. That's what I'm all about. Um, I'm gonna, it took, it is now 3.02. It took me four hours to get here. I need to, uh, start working because I got to get my tent set up and get some firewood or else there will be no fire And if there's no fire, there's no food. So uh, I got to get working on that All right, so I got the fire going um, Made some wood piles This is really my wood pile right here, but uh, trying to get some water um, Wasn't easy man <laughs> um, The fire all the wood is wet um, it's cold <laughs> and there's uh, no dry wood and uh, I'm trying to boil some water and make some dinner we'll see how that goes making water out of snow okay. well it's morning now it was very very cold last night and uh, long night yeah, it was uh, like 13 hours because uh, I had to get in my bag at, uh, I don't know, like 6.45 or something, and it's 8 o'clock now. So um, it was that cold that uh, there was nothing you could really do except for uh, get in your bag. And uh, there were moments where I thought about walking out of here last night because I was thinking 13 hours or, you know, when's the sun going to come up? And... Uh, I thought about it and I said, you know, th those are the type of situations where people um, get out there in the cold and get wet and at night and get lost and uh, decided against it, decided to sleep and uh, rest and 
Uh, I'm thinking about heading out today. Um, it's just pretty cold, and uh, you know I don't know what the weather's like out there yet, but I'm going to assess it and then make a decision. So we'll see what happens. So uh, got the fire going this morning pretty easily um, with the hot coals from last night. Uh, really successful fire building and uh, making some uh, melting right here melting right did you get that right there melting some snow and the snow what you do is you scrape off the top part and dig down a little bit not too far and you'll find really fresh water and snow um, over here busted out the stove that is essentially my breakfast that you see there. You have some trail mix, you have some oatmeal, and of course, coffee. Everyone needs their coffee, or at least I need my coffee. The tent of last night's uh, pilgrimage, still lots of snow. Got some sun here. Things are looking up in the morning after a long, long night of hunkering down and staying warm. When I woke up this morning, the temperature was about uh, it was around 30 degrees, but it, last night it must have dropped down into the 20s. The winds were howling too, but uh, it's it's about 32 now. And so I'm thinking of heading out today. And uh, just because I don't want to go to bed again at 7 o'clock or 6 o'clock and uh, spend 13 hours doing nothing. So I'm thinking of hiking out and, uh, you know, seeing what happens on the way out. Way out should be a lot easier because we got the trail blazing uh, that I made coming here yesterday. So I'm going to follow that and uh, should be pretty easy getting back. Basically, uh, that's the pack. Snowshoes, trekking poles, just got to put the water on. Gloves, um, let's see what kind of time I make getting out. Um, I've just got to put this fire down and, uh, you know, so that nothing happens. Uh, there's still a lot of wind, you never know. But uh, what a beautiful area. Just cold as hell at night. <laughs> This is uh, Los Padres National Forest. This, my friends, is what we call sheep camp. And uh, fire secured, 10.45, I'm heading out. So the map, that's where the map was. That's no good. That's the trail ahead. And that is where I just came from. Top of some mountain. I'll tell you something. It's really good to know where you're at. Because when you don't know where you're at, it sucks. 
but uh, bottom line is uh, feeling a lot better today. You can see my water is close enough for me to drink. I wasn't drinking enough water yesterday. I brought two quarts today, one quart yesterday. It wasn't enough. I was dehydrated by the time I got to camp. So, um, I've got a little ways to go. Uh, I've been traveling for about an hour. Hopefully not another three hours, but uh, God, what a view. That right there, my friends, that is why we climb. That is why we come out here, because it's beautiful. And uh, I was down in that valley over there. See that peak? Beyond that peak, through that ravine, some place a sheep camp. But what a beautiful day. And you can see some clouds coming in today. See those clouds in the distance there? Um, we had no clouds yesterday. Zero. No way to tell if that is uh, for sure coming my way, but that's what I saw moving in. And uh, I just want to get out before that hits because it looks wet and it looks cold. And uh, I don't want to be wet and cold any more than I am. So, uh, keep going. It's kind of why you don't take chances. Look at that. Is it moving fast? Uh, yeah. Is it coming right at me? Yeah. Is the wind picking up? That's another yes. So visibility is almost gone. That's where the sun was. Cause this looks like uh, it's gonna snow. And uh, it looks like visibility is going to be cut down. I'm on top of Mount Pinos though, and I've found the road. So now it's a matter of trekking out on the road. Hopefully, I don't lose visibility, but still, even if I do, I still have the road. Weather's unpredictable and can change at any minute. And once you've made a decision, it's better just to stick with it. And if you're heading. So, this is what Mount Pinos looks like right now. You can tell. Uh, that that weather did come in and the top of that mountain let's see how the storm's moving computer and uh, checking out the weather at uh, Sawmill Mountain and uh, right around where sheep camp is There we go. Google Earth showing the storm moving through. You can actually see Sheep Camp. And you can see that uh, icy mix of uh, snow and rain pounding it. It's going just a little bit more. And yeah. That is why I got out of Dodge. And uh, it's snowy, icy rain. And uh, I don't think I want any snowy, icy rain. Matter of fact, I think I'll just have a beer. Yeah.